Hello and welcome to sunny Derbyshire, as it always is. And we are today at Bob Minions Motorcycles. So this is the place where I bought my bullet, my sim, and now going here to have a look. Oh, I like that, it's cool, isn't it? But today we've come here for a really, really specific reason. We've come here today for the new Himalayan, or Himalayan, depending where you're doing it. So this is the bike that everyone's talking about. It's the 452, the 400, 450, sorry, depending how you want to see it. So here we go. It's one of my first looks. And yeah, it looks very nice. It looks more substantial. It's got the um, shotgun here next to it. So let's come on this side. So we cut putting these two together, you can sort of see how they sort of compare. And yeah, it does look fairly substantial. Start off by looking at the front of it. I do like that. That is a good looking bike. So you can see it's got the inverse shocks. Very nice wheels with the black wheels. With the rubber over there as well. It's not solid, I think. It's got a fair bit of flex to it. And a small exhaust. Yeah, so that's one colour. Um, it's called the Kamet White. We come on this side, and this is where we've got the Hanley Black. That's with the gold rims. Very, very pretty. Oh yes, just so I've said it so I don't forget. This just has some extra accessories that aren't included. So it's the crash bars here and the back plate. Uh, these don't come standard with the bike. They are accessories. So regarding accessories, just have a chat with Trevor. So if you do call up, you probably might like to catch Trevor. And so he said that the accessories are going to be out. Um, it's three months after in the next three months or so. So we won't get everything straight away, but it will be there. Three months is not too bad. At least it gives you some time to play with the bike, start to see what you actually want, what you don't want, instead of just being overly indulgent and getting things overdoing it. But it does look pretty. I really do like the gold wheels. But, sadly, they're only available with tubeless, not tubed. So if you do want to have the tubed gold rims, um, that's your only option. Tubeless gold rims at the moment aren't happening. I think hopefully in the future at some point if there's enough demand. Or well, there might be aftermarket kits and that's for you to see. Um, but yeah, um, that's the situation of gold wheels. Especially with the black, I think it sits quite well. And here is the new 450 engine. 450 singles, liquid cooled. So we've got that there. I think it's a bit of plastic protector there. I think that's something to start off. Nice little horn here. Nice little looking gold put on pipes. I do like that. And same as the Camet White. Um, I did have a little open of the seat, so the seat is adjustable. Uh, it's got a couple of different heights. So uh, I think at some point, probably accessory with the low seat we're coming at some point. Um, but yeah, so the seat, doesn't, seat sits here, clips in just to the front, and it's this piece at the back that actually holds the seat in. So that one's not doesn't have its own clip, and at the back, as we saw, um, you see, it doesn't have a tail light. It's just the two rears, two rear indicators, which are on all, all the time for your rear light. Um, so it's going to have a little light here as well for the number plate, I suppose. So that's something else. So yeah, I quite like it. I think uh, a couple of accessories I'd look on the website for was the taller screen, the crash bars some luggage up different luggage options so it looks like there are going to be a fair few things happening at some point so let's have a look and see how it feels to sit on oh what's the view from here that is a pretty view isn't it let's have a look so we do have a very nice little lcd it's smaller than i expected from looking at the reviews and other things i'd expect it to be a little bit bigger but still yeah i think it's still okay and um, it will be a taller screen, so I think it's, if somebody does want to add on some other navigation options, there should be something there for you as well. Um, even coming down, one of the things I did find um, with the mode button here, there's a home button here, and so that's there, and also then a little joystick. So I did have a little go with it. Um, it's something I think I've got to get used to. 
Um, something to play with. But I think this was quite nice. Starting off, a starting option there is quite easy to start. And then the um, hazard lights there as well. So I thought that was quite good. Yeah, the grips yeah, feel quite nice. It feels quite good. Um, the hand, the uh, levers do feel quite substantial. They do feel quite nice. I think with the actual mirrors, I might want to get something a bit bigger. I think for my liking, at some point, I do think they're a bit small. The ones on the on the Transar pad were a fair bit bigger. Um, same thing. I think the ones I got for the bullet might have been similar size. or might be slightly bigger. Um, I think that's one upgrade I might be looking at at some point. I might get my little fold-on ones. Some time. But yeah, it does actually feel quite comfortable, and I do quite like that your, knee, your knees. Uh, they feel like they're quite protected. The tank does come out um, a good couple of inches, at least three inches. So it looks like it's got a fair bit of protection for your knees. So I think that's quite nice. Um, 70 litre tank. I think um, from what, I've, what I've seen in red is about a good 300 miles. So that's quite a good little spec. Yeah, it does actually feel nice. Um, one thing I thought was uh, something a bit different. Uh, I went to, well, not, not been too keen on, is that that. So, I'm not sure about the side stand. It does, it does look fairly substantial though. Um, and I think even the way it bends over. But, the question was, it doesn't feel as small as the Himalayan. It does feel a lot like it's a lot more. And even getting, it doesn't feel as big as a Transalp 650. Um, I think it's, it's, but it's getting there. So one of the concerns I had when I have sat in a 411 in the past, it did feel like a lot smaller bike. But I think with this, it does feel like it's a lot more substantial. That's I'm quite, something I'm quite happy with. And I didn't want to have something like I sit on top of a bike. I wanted something that sit inside the bike. And I think that does give me that kind of feeling. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, the f it does, it does give me quite a good positive feeling. I do feel like I'm in it rather than on it. So that's quite nice. And the view from the cockpit's quite nice. I think it does look like a very pretty bike and does feel very comfortable. After getting from a bike that's super comfortable, like the Trans Up and the same thing with the Bullet 500, they're super comfortable bikes. And so I, th I think that's one thing that I wanted this to be. So I think it's, it is actually getting there. But to stand up, yeah, even standing up, yeah, it's quite a natural easy position. I think it's better for standing up. Um, same thing, a similar th feeling with the 411. Even when you're standing up on that, it does feel quite natural, quite easy. I think you've got a similar feeling with uh, this one as well. I think overall I'm quite positive. Um, I think there's always going to be something you want to niggle or complain about. That's when you're going to get start riding it and you'll find out more. But I think... Um, But yeah, overall, I think I'm quite happy with it. Um, it looks very good. It feels very nice. Again, the Brembo brakes, you've got everything else. And um, the quality of the construction looks quite good. Um, I think things to add, and I do like the chain guard. That's quite substantial. Nice, solid thing. Not that little plastic thing I've got on the Alp. Um, so that's quite nice and solid. And the same thing with this. Uh, looks easy to service there as well. But yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy. Um, Oh, there you go. Come on. Well, I'm in a working shop, it's not a studio. No. Yeah, well, I'm really, really happy with the 411. I think it's a particularly good bike. Even sitting next to other bikes, it looks very, very good. Um, and yeah, well, I think the, put, the, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And it's uh, just going to be that. So as soon as we get some testing in, get some riding in, um, looks quite good. But I'm not sure about this colour then. I think I prefer something a bit darker. Um, it is quite a grippy seat as well. So it's not like a little slippy seat. There is a fair bit of grip to it. Uh, so so max, load, max load 5 here. But there is a, an accessory to go at the back here. Yeah, but overall, I'd say I'm quite happy. I'm quite impressed with it. And yeah, so if you're, if you're interested, 
um, have a look. Uh, I'll probably see, get yourself a test ride. These are going to be quite in demand. I can, I can, I can imagine them being extremely popular. I imagine them. I think they're definitely going to be extremely popular. Um, so here we go. If you're in Derby, if you're in Derby, uh, pop around to Bob Minions. Um, they're really nice people. I've bought a couple of. Th so this will be my third bike I'm buying from. Um, known them for quite a few years, and they've always been very good with me. So yeah, pop down. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Ride safe and stay curious.